Hey YouTube, it's Leanson. You guys asked me to make a video on my OBS docs, how I have my OBS laid out and how I added some of the docs that I have. So here it is. This is how my OBS is laid out now. This is not how it was in the last video. I just want to show you guys in case you came from the last video and you're wondering what that layout was. Here it is. I have my YouTube chat, kick chat, Twitch chat, and Twitch activity feed. That's what was popped out right here. But back to the current OBS. This is how it's set up right now. Down here, we have my cam. Right here, we have the YouTube chat, the Twitch chat, kick chat, Twitch activity feed, Twitch channel points, my audio mixers right here, along with my stream information. My quick actions for Twitch are right here. My sources, scenes, and then right here, I like to layer these. I have my Twitch stats, which is what I show when I'm streaming. And then I like to put my controls and my multiple output controls under that so I don't accidentally start a stream or stop a stream. I have to do multiple clicks to get there. <laughs> I'm a little clumsy. To show you guys how to add these docs. In OBS, it's a function under docs. Click that. And then you want to click custom browser docs. This doesn't just work for, you know, Twitch, Kick, YouTube. You can use anything that can be in a browser and dock it into your OBS. Let's say you like to listen to music. You have Apple Music, Spotify, things like that. You can dock your music into your OBS. This is really convenient for people who don't want to have a bunch of windows open on their PC or people who only have one to two monitors available and maybe limited space when they're playing the game. You can add anything. For an example, I'm going to show you guys YouTube because as you can see down here, my YouTube chat, it says chat is disabled for this live stream. So it's a perfect example. Every single time that I go live on YouTube, it's a new chat. This is my YouTube studio. I'm going to show you guys in here, right? You click these three dots next to live chat and you pop out the chat. It's going to open a pop out chat. You're just going to copy that. After that, you can close out the chat and then you can replace that link from here. So you don't have to delete that window and then pop out a new one, place it back. You don't have to place it back into your OBS. You could just put the new link here, press enter, apply. See, now my chat works on here. That's what I do before every YouTube stream. To show you guys an example, I'll just add a new doc. You can do this with anything. So I'm going to show you with something from Twitch. You can pop out any of these. So anything that you choose from your creator dashboard, just click these three little dots and you can pop that out. Once that's popped out, like I said, highlight the link, copy it, close it out. You can customize that. Just put what it says in Twitch, put stream health and then paste the link apply it's gonna pop up you can either keep it as a pop out or you can put it wherever you want in your doc double it up with something like that whatever you want i'm gonna delete this one because i don't want it here for twitch youtube and kick it's going to want you to log in i need to help you guys with kick you want to go to your kick dashboard in these little gears click that and you want to pop out the chat from there and like i said just copy paste that's how you get your kick chat the issue with the kick chat is when you pop it out because they're still in their beta, it doesn't give you the option to log in through the pop out window. You'll be able to see your chat, but you won't be able to type in it. In order to log yourself into your kick chat, take this and I'm going to link this in the description. You want to copy that. OK, add the custom browser doc. You got to add the kick login, which I already did here. Usually it would just pop out. Now I'm already logged in. Usually when you do this, it's going to pop out your login right here and then you can sign in to kick through the browser doc. After you're signed in, you right click and refresh your kick chat and then you'll be logged in there too. And if it ever logs you out for any reason, you just open the browser doc again right here, kick login and you log in again. But yeah, that's how you can do that with your kick chat. So Twitch and you just log in kick chat. You're going to need to make the new browser doc to log in. You don't have to keep the doc in your OBS. You can close it out and then just reopen it when necessary for YouTube. Like I said, you can keep it here and then you'll just need to go to docs, 
and go to custom browser docs and put the new link. It's up to you based on what you like to use during stream. I like to have my controls up here so I could see, you know, my views are up here. They're there if I want to see it. If I want to control everything, it's right here. I usually don't need both of these at the same time. So there's no use of putting them side by side. I can put them on top of one another. My scenes and sources side by side if I want to change things like like this. These are my quick actions for Twitch. I've edited them to where only the ones I really see myself needing in my OBS are here. If I can make a clip, I can add a stream marker to go back for like an edit. I can make a moment, which is a new feature on Twitch. I can do predictions, polls, raid, manage my goal, and then the shield mode, which is for like hate raids and things like that. My audio is right here with my stream information under it in case I need to edit it, but I don't edit it often, so it doesn't need to be on top. It doesn't need its own space. My chat's obviously down here because my gaming is to my right. So I monitor all three chats while playing the game. Um, my activity feed, because that's important. I want to see these things pop up. So that's why it's to the right. And then my channel point feed to the right as well. So that's why I have it laid out the way I do. You guys can make your own layout very similar. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments. I'll answer to the best of my ability. If it's something that I could just type in the comments, I'll reply with an answer. If it's something for a vid, I'll happily, you know, make vids helping you guys with whatever you need help with. I hope this helped. I'm excited to see a lot of you guys multi-streaming. There's a lot you can do with OBS, so just take advantage of it and find what works for you. See you guys in the stream later. Bye!